everyone, one of my favorite topics is teaching expressions. I think it's an interesting and unique way of learning English. But how can we learn expressions? A good idea is to listen and to watch the real content, practicing and mainly by not translating them into your own language, instead learning the meaning of it. If you're a newcomer to the channel, please click on the subscribe button right now for weekly English tips. So today I'm going to teach you five American expressions. Uh, hello? Hi Rebecca, how are you? It's Melina. Oh, hi Melina. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just recording a video. So let me tell you about my week. I can't wait to hear about it. Well, this week I really brought my A-game to work, finished all my tasks, and my boss was really happy with me. We use the expression A-game when we're talking about a person's best performance possible in some kind of activity. In 1969, in the GQ magazine, appeared an article about a new golf course in Hilton Head in South Carolina. In the article, they said that the person who was going to play should bring their A game, which means to be the best at it so they could play because it was very challenging. So notice that with this expression we use to bring your A game or his or her A game. And it's a very common expression used in the United States and in Canada. I have no idea how my friend from work is playing hardball with me with the new contracts. Oh, the boss wants the contracts signed today, okay? Today? I don't have time to do them today. If someone plays hardball, they will do anything that's necessary to achieve or to get what they want, even if that means being unfair and harsh. Hardball is another name for American baseball, as opposed to softball, which is played with a larger and softer ball. The term was used the first time in a figurative way by a journalist called Robert Rourke in 1949 and the idiom became very popular since it was very used by President Nixon's speech writers. The boss wants the contracts signed today, okay? Today? I don't have time to do them all today. I don't care if you don't have time. Just have them done by the end of the day. Yeah, and he's only doing this because I had to take a rain check on our dinner plans. The expression take a rain check means to refuse an offer or an invitation with the hope or promise that it could be postponed and accepted at another time. It also originated because of baseball in the 1880s in the United States. So if it rained heavily enough for the game to be canceled, the ticket holders would receive a rain check, which means they would receive a voucher to come and watch another game at another time. And done. So let's go. Oh, I'm so sorry, Vini. I have some work to do. I'll have to take a rain check on our dinner tonight. So anyway, I hope our friendship doesn't go south. The idiom to go south is used when a situation, organization or set of standards becomes really bad, although they were once really good. It is believed that it makes references to two-dimensional maps where compass is pointed up for north and down for south. I can't believe you're not going to dinner with me. And I can't believe how rude you were to me before. So? So maybe we shouldn't be friends anymore. Yeah, and maybe our friendship has gone south. Fine. Although, I hope we'll always be friends. Knock on wood. When you want to avoid bad luck, or talk about good luck you've had in the past, or mention your hopes for the future, you can use the expression knock on wood. Its origin is uncertain, but it may have appeared because some people believed that it brought good luck to tap trees in the past. Although, I hope we'll always be friends, knock on wood. I'm sorry I was playing hardball before and I was rude to you. I'm sorry I didn't go to dinner with you. It's okay. 
So. Okay, I'll let you know what happens. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye, Rebecca. Well, sorry about that. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you learned a new expression, please give the video a big thumbs up and share it with your contact list. What other American expressions do you know? Leave a comment and tell me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you soon. Bye.